Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. This is a lovely box for, wait and see, wait and see. It's a little, little box, opens up like that. Burt's Bees Vitamin E Oil, my favourite bath oil in the world. I have had this saved. I'm desperate to use it because I've got about that much left in the bottom of mine. And I love it. And I, you know what? I had it in my inspiration drawer. Jacob, my 10 year old, helped me. Well, he decided he was going to tidy it out and pulled out loads of things that he wanted me to work with that he felt would be good for projects. And that was one of them. And I was like, oh, thank goodness I've got some. Got to use it um, in a video because I want to use it in my bath. So I'm going to pop the lid back on there and it's lovely and because it's lemon and vitamin E oil I went for my twinkly sparkly I don't know if you can see it there is wink of Stella on there but actually I was using one that was running out but we've got glimmer we've just got all sorts going on this was a so saffron version I'm going to do a mint macaron version because I wanted to use the same paper which is from the share what you love suite exactly the same paper I wanted to see what it was like against that pretty awesome I reckon okay eight and a quarter by eight and three quarters of an inch 21 by 23 centimeters okay so on the long side where's my gory doodah this is my long side and everything will be written on my blog so just click over in the description bar below there'll be a direct link there don't worry about writing anything down okay so on the long side score it at two inches six and a quarter and eight and a quarter, which in metric is five, 16 and 21. And then turn it onto the short side, which is eight and a quarter inches. And if you work an eight and a half, you can have eight and a half by 11, you can have an eight and a half, but I'm European, we don't. We work in International A4. So score it every two inches at two, four, six and eight, which in metric is five, 10, 15 and 20. Okay, let's scooch that out of the way. Mint macaron. Anybody else missed it? Oh, I've missed it. I'm so glad it's back. Just placed an order for somebody um, who ordered five packets of it. I think she's quite fearful it might leave again sometime soon. Um, either that or she's got a really big project, and I tend not to ask. I don't see. Oh, why are you buying that? We like to shop anonymously, anonymously don't we? Um, and that's why I have in the main online shoppers. It's really lovely when somebody rings me and says, Sam, can I have a chat and place an order? Love it. it, makes me happy. Okay. So, it doesn't matter which way round you have it, but keep your skinny bit at the top and a skinny bit at the side. First things first, cut away the skinny at the bottom. And cut straight up those vertical lines. Apparently not very straight. I've completely wibbled all of those, so let's straighten them up. <sighs> Got wibblage issues today. Okay, so that's going to come round and that will be the back. So I want my back to be where the clothes is. So, okay, I'm going to try and make this make sense for you. This is the back, so turn, mock it together, and you need this one on the opposite side. So not this one here, the one opposite it is going to be the flap that folds over and folds round. So I'm keeping my thumb on it. I will show you so if I mock it back up again that is going to fold over and tuck in which means we can actually get completely rid completely rid rid completely you know what I mean that one okay so let's mock it up again and now you can see that one is going to tuck in these ones need trimming down a bit so hack a bit off there, hack a bit off there, and just mitre very slightly there, and there, and this one as well. Okay. 
Okay, so again, if I mock it up, you can now see my sides are folded in and that's gonna tuck in. So if I bring it out and hover it, just while I clean up a little bit, thin bit there, bottom, and these are the bits that are left behind. So let me just clean those up and get my corner rounder because I forgot. So, detailed trio punch. I'm gonna round off these corners. And I really hope my children don't turn up soon. My husband was on nights today and he got up and I said, I'm filming. And he went, OK. And they came and joined me in the office. And he went, oh, do I have to listen to you filming now? Oh, I'm fine, well, yes, dear. Do I have to? No, apparently I'm not going to film. So he's gone off to collect the children, leaving. <laughs> I'm like, Whoa, how many videos can I film in 20 minutes? One. Right. One and three quarters by one and three quarters. One and three quarters by four inches that is four and a half by four and a half centimeters four and a, uh, four and a half by ten and a half centimeters so let's get these all glued up it's my snail probably on the way out looking like it yep yeah. can't make this up can you right such an easy fit there we go, let's carry on. Where did I get to? Halfway down that one. So this one is gonna go on the top. And I love this paper, it's pearlescent, but actually I'm hiding the pearlescent side away, so you can see it reflecting. That's the pearly side and that's not. That's quite brutal. That's the pearly side and that's not. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's lovely against the um, mint macaron, isn't it? I do still struggle to call it a macaron. I'm British, it's a macaroon. Not with coconut. That's something else. Right, tear and tape. So my tear and tape is wider than this little quarter inch strip. And that's okay because it's double-sided. So you can see it's sticking out too much there. You can see it against my hand. But when you take the backing off, it's my alarm going, collect the children. <laughs> my husband's doing it. So you see there's too much, but when you fold it back on itself, it will stick to itself. There you go. Marvellous. Okay, so. We know that's the back. Let's grab some more tearing tape on here. And if I had another bottle, I would pop it inside, but I don't have another bottle of that, of the um, vitamin E oil. So, oh no, that's the wrong punch. I need my little punch. To get a little handy thumb helper so I'm using it's all about the circles today so just a little bit doesn't need to be loads just enough that you can pop your thumb in brilliant love 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 okay so I don't have a mint macaron ribbon so I'm going to go with silver or white with the silver edge And this is for decoration purposes only. As you can see, the box is perfectly happy keeping itself closed. But if I get any chance to bimble a ribbon, I'm going to take it. Okay. And then I'm using two stamp sets, actually. Um, don't normally use two stamp sets on a project. You know me, I like to show you don't need many multiple tons of things. But I am using two stamp says look at that bow look at that bow all oh, the lights just too bright let me knock that one out for a second it's gorgeous oh thank goodness i'm taking a picture of it i'll never be able to recreate that again so okay so i'm going to have a lemon well i might do a lime actually a lime in mint macaron no that's not going to work a lemon some stamping and some glimmer so this stamp this comes to think of uh, to think of you is to smile comes from Eastern Beauty. That was hard work, wasn't it? Uh, which is this one. Pop the 
that out of the way and pick it up and then I want my lovely slice of lemon from Lemon Zest. The, the phrases didn't go for me, it didn't work for this project. Have a bigger block. And then my scraps of Whisper White. So, first things first, one and a quarter inch for a Dazzling Diamond Circle. And then I'm going to go Mint Macaron for the words. And I've got So Saffron again for my lamp. Um, my slice of lemon. Ooh, that is so saffron. I've really got it. Oh well, it'll pale down. Not to worry. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave those to one side for a second because I've got, I put a little glitter dot on here on my first one, but I want mint macaron and I want frosty. So I've got my mint macaron um, stamping blend, the dark is this the dark one? The dark one. And that did not make a difference whatsoever. So we won't do that. We'll use Daffodil Delight instead. <laughs> there we go. That didn't come up dark enough, so I'm just going to leave that for one second. So, uh, one and three quarter inch circle for my lemon. One and a half for my words. drop everything, wink of Stella on the lemon slices I hope you can see that you see it twinkling? lovely love wink of Stella I reckon every order I do I must, I, I'd say it's every single order I add another one of these to it because I use it so much. I don't use them up, I just use them a lot. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't use them up, I use them a lot. I don't use, I'm not using them up because they run out quickly. I'm using them up because I use them a lot on a lot of stuff. I don't know if that made sense. It makes sense to me. Okay, so I want a mini clip now, I'm gonna have Snail on one half over there, and I'm going to have a dimensional. On there. To think of you is to smile, and then my lovely dot down there. Ha ha! So cute. Love it. Same paper. Very different look, isn't it? Why is that so pale and that not? Am I re-inked in the wrong colour or something? Must have done. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Twinkly, twinkly. Oh, now I can have this in my bath. <laughs> I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.